Transient plasma systems made a new ignition system that replaces the conventional spark plug in a vehicle's engine with an ignition module that uses very short duration nanosecond pulses of plasma to ignite the air fuel mixture within the cylinder. Now this plasma ignition system is almost ready for production after validating and testing has confirmed its potential to increase fuel efficiency by up to 20% when fitted to an existing engine. Okay, so I can already hear you typing, the future is electric, why waste time and money on the internal combustion engine? Well, here's the thing, at the moment there's over 1.2 billion internal combustion powered vehicles on the road. So if we all love our planet as much as we say, we need to find ways to make the existing cars more viable for the future. Not all of us has the money to upgrade to a new EV, or the want, I love my cars, yes they are old, loud and slow by today's standards. But I love them, so if there was a way I could make them more green, I would do it. Now, why is this new ignition system so good? Well, it helps improve fuel economy. Now, improving fuel economy is super simple. Burn less fuel in the cylinder when cruising. Now, big car manufacturers know this, and engine developers have been hard at work to make lean mixtures work safely in our internal combustion engine cars. But getting such mixtures to ignite via a spark plug has been problematic, and that's where this new system comes in. But before I explain how the transient plasma system works, let me explain how the older spark plug works first. So the old, simple plugs create an arc of electricity across two heads which are not touching, but they are close enough together that the electricity can jump the gap between them. This tiny little spark then thermally ignites the fuel mixture, which creates the boom that drives the piston down. Now where does the TPS system differ? Now if you go and research this and read the papers, it's super interesting and super complicated. But I'm going to do my best to explain this in a way that kind of makes sense to everyone. Transient Plasma Systems proposes employing plasma to initiate combustion but in a completely different way. So firstly, a voltage very similar to the voltage of an old school coil is summoned in less than 15 nanoseconds. Now this energy is not dispersed across a discrete gap, but rather in streams and sheets between an electrode and the plug's peripheral housing. This pulse is not hot, but has enough energy to immediately ignite the gasoline air mix in the internal combustion engine. Dan Singleton, the CEO of TPS, explained that the transient plasma ignition system uses a nanosecond electrical pulse to generate plasma to create instantaneous high power at a much faster rate than a traditional spark. This high power but low energy pulse creates low temperature plasma that will not light a match yet ignites dilute air fuel mixtures efficiently and immediately. Now in this process, the lower combustion temperature means far less formation of NOx and far less waste heat generated. So more of the fuel ends up propelling the vehicle, which in turn improves fuel efficiency and lowers overall emissions. Now all of this sounds great, but when is it available to public or is this one of those technologies that is great in theory and just never gets released? Well, the company is in discussion with multiple manufacturers at the moment and they said that this tech should be used in cars in around 18 months, so not that far into the future. Now all of this is great in my opinion. We have so many companies working to further the internal combustion engine, making it cleaner, more efficient and capable of running on synthetic fuels or even hydrogen. My dreams of cars with actual noise making engines might actually happen. But let me know what you think. Do you agree with me that we have to further the internal combustion engine for all the cars that are already on the planet? I mean we can't just like crush everything and start from scratch. That will just be too expensive. And all of those manufacturing emissions when creating new cars will be re-released into the atmosphere. So then we're not really making the planet any greener. So we're gonna have to find a way where we can make new cars much more green, but also find a way to make the older cars greener and better for the planet. And I think ways like this is great. So let me know what you think down below. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I've got many more videos on future technologies and different ways to make existing cars greener. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers. Bye.